Good morning, I'm Ekwin today. I'm going to show you how to make Thai green chicken curry. Green curry is considered the most popular curry in Thai cuisine. This dish is my favorite comfort food and it's perfect when paired with steamed rice. My version of Thai green chicken curry is packed with flavor. It's absolutely delicious and it's super easy to make. So, let's get started! Good morning! I'm Eglin. Welcome to Eva's Kitchen. Here are the ingredients. 500 grams of chicken thigh cut in bite-sized pieces, 2 cups of coconut milk, 1 cup of chicken stock. I'm using frozen homemade chicken stocks today. 100 grams of green curry paste. 2 tablespoons of fish sauce. 2 tablespoons of palm sugar. 5 pieces of kaffir lime leaves. 2 cups of bamboo shoots. These are cooked and sliced into bite-sized pieces. 4 pieces of Thai chilies. Red bell peppers that I've julienned. And a cup of fresh Thai basil. In a wok or a deep pot, add 3 4 cups of coconut milk over medium heat. Stir continuously until the coconut milk is reduced and very thick. And when the coconut oil starts to separate from the coconut milk, add the green curry paste and saute. Mix until the paste is aromatic and has thickened. Add the chicken thigh and mix well to evenly coat the chicken with the paste. the chicken stock. And if you're wondering why I'm adding ice balls into the wok, these are homemade chicken stock that I made few weeks ago that I have frozen. I didn't have time to thaw them so I just added them straight into the wok. I've done this method every time and it works and it tastes as good as any ready-to-use chicken broth. Cover for about 3 minutes. Mix. and then add the remaining coconut milk. Mix again. And then add the kefir lime leaves, fish sauce, and palm sugar. Stir. Put the lid on and let it simmer for 10 to 15 minutes or until the chicken is fork tender. This time we can add the bamboo shoots, fresh Thai chilies, and bell peppers. Cover again and cook for another 2 to 3 minutes. Turn the heat to low. Taste to adjust. You can add more fish sauce as needed. Add the Thai basil leaves. Stir one last time. And I like to remove the kaffir lime leaves at this point before serving. If you prefer your curry less spicy, I recommend adding 50 grams of green curry paste only and leave out the Thai chilies. I usually add spur chilies for color, but I don't have them today. That's why I used red bell peppers as a substitute ingredient. Thai green chicken curry is such a hearty and flavorful meal. It smells amazing and I just love it especially for weeknights dinner. I love the heat and the perfect balance of sweet, tang and spice. I hope you'll try my version of Thai green chicken curry recipe. Serve it hot with steamed rice and as always, enjoy! Thank you for watching. If you like this recipe, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, please like and follow my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I can continue to provide you with insightful videos and delicious recipes. 
If you have suggestions or questions about the recipe, please leave me a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you for your support and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!